Attention Shh. for grown women only. Mark your calendars, lady. Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. The Secret Money in Your Womb, Part 4. We're going to be talking about the treasure trove embodiment. We as Divine Feminine Women, we're able to magnetize resources for our lives and those that are within our magnetic field using our irresistible Divine Feminine Essence. Y'all know I'm getting ready to drop the jewels, ladies. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to have a very yummy dress code. And for the brothers, for that lovely lady in your life, make sure she's there. Even though it's for women only, you can sponsor the lovely lady in your life. You'll thank me later. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. That's unpurposewithvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you there. So you have this, you know, little sister that's going to be dealing with, you know, some issues at her school. She's in seventh grade. And I've seen these stories so many different times and it just really bothers me just as a father. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. We were walking up to the bus and we were hearing chants like Black Lives Matter sarcastically, Rosa Parks, the N-word. And then me and my friend, we got on the bus and like, it got dead silent for a second. <laughs> Kids chanting Rosa Parks, BLM, laughing and cheering, all directed at Alyssa Shaw. That's her on the school bus filled with her seventh grade classmates. There was nothing you could have done. You couldn't even hear your own voice. I didn't think it was funny at all because it was like deliberate disrespect and then they tried to cover it up as a joke. It's terrible. I think she is the strongest child ever. I, she composed herself better than most adults could in that situation. Alyssa's mom, Becky Burr, says a student on the bus sent her this video. Police are using it as evidence while they're looking into what happened. A letter sent to Burris by the middle school principal on Wednesday says behaviors and actions by certain students constituted bullying and they will be held accountable. One of the reasons we went this route is to get it out there that this is not gone. It is still very much alive and it is still very much happening. It's taught me that not everyone's your friend. Alyssa says it's not the first time she's been targeted at school. She says back in October, a boy was making racist comments to her. She says she hit him. And for that, they both were punished with in-school and out-of-school suspensions. Just a boy following me back from athletics when we were walking and just saying, I hate black people, I hate N-words. He got Two days ISS, two days OSS, and I got ISS for a day. Alyssa is planning to finish the third quarter at Lavaca Middle School and then transfer back to Fort Smith. Because I don't, I feel like they're just going to continue to keep bashing me if I don't transfer. It's not acceptable. It's not okay. And she said she probably could forgive in time. And even if she does, it's still not acceptable. Because she's never going to forget that. Now, we see these stories time and time and time and time again. And I've said this and I want to keep repeating this because we have the video evidence of it. This is the culture of white supremacy. This is what is taught in the home, the hatred of black people. Those kids was, didn't know anything about the time period of Rosa Parks or the civil rights movement. You know, she said they were calling her the N word. They talk about black lives matter. They say in a very derogatory tone, which we, we know the way they say Black Lives Matter is like saying the N-word for a lot of them. Uh, we, we know that, right? But let me speak to white parents here for a minute. Some white parents like Becky here um, in this story who have a black child and you're raising them out of, without you know the other parent. This is why I would always tell, especially our brothers, um, for sure, because if they, let's say if, you know, the, the women got, the black women got with uh, a zaddy nine times out of 10, they're going to have the child. So I really have to say this to, you know, brothers, brothers, when you're having children um, with white women, if you're not going to be with them, don't do it. And the reason why I say don't do it is because the problem is 
this woman is white. In her mind, it's normal to be around white people. So she's not really thinking about the child she has. That child, no matter what nobody say, no matter what any of you say, they're going to look at that child as black. No matter if she, her mother's white. And some of you white parents, you want to put a black child in a predominantly white school where they hardly have any black children at all. And then you're shocked when they're treated this way. She's shocked. She's crying. She just don't. Let's just keep it real. Can we? Y'all know how y'all people are. You know. And since a lot of you know it, you may not want to admit it. Some of you have admitted it. Some of you have. Many of you over the years have came to me, you know, behind the scenes and, you know, emails and, you know, uh, uh, private messages on Instagram, Facebook or whatever, right, Twitter, and told me about your community and how they are. You know exactly how they are. Okay. Nobody got to tell you that. And since you know that you cannot bring a black child there because you're going to keep subjecting them to abuse, racialized abuse. You won't have to put that child in a school where more of the people look like her. And then she won't have all these issues and problems. Cause when the, when the other kid had called her the N word and she did what she's supposed to do, defend herself from that particular terrorism. Because in this country, people that look like her mom that use that word, it can relate to us getting harmed or possibly killed. So she just was defending herself at that time. They gave her suspension for defending herself. She shouldn't have got anything. So pulling her out of that school would be the right thing to do but put her in a school where there's predominantly black children and you want to subject your child to dealing with that. You can go in the white community all you want, white parents. That's fine for you. But that black child can't because the way your ancestors set it up is that your ancestors made sure and y'all have even continued to this day to show that y'all are the mortal enemies of black people because y'all want it that way. Black people didn't set that up. Black people have been begging to be your friend. Black people have been begging to want validation from you. Black people have been begging, you know, to be integrated. Black people have been doing everything they can to get along with you and you don't want it. You've already taught your children to hate black people based off of even this, this clip here. They are, the next generation already hates black people already. So since you can't change your community, you need to get away from it. Or, or if you just want to be in your community like that, my best suggestion is do not have a child with a black person. Just don't. And it would eliminate a lot of the issues and problems you're going to deal with in the future. And the reason why I'm pointing out this particular community is because this particular community move away from anybody that if it, if it, even if it's a bunch of, you know, people that don't look like them, it don't have to be black folks. It's been other groups too that move around. Y'all, y'all move away from people cause y'all don't want to be around nobody. So you know how your community is. So don't subject a child to that. Don't subject them to that. They can't walk in your white world. Sorry. Your child can't, they gotta be in the black world. And that's the only way that child will be at peace. But y'all leave me a comment, you know, what y'all think about this particular story. And like I said, we do have white parents that do listen to this platform and I just have to be real with them. You know, I mean, cause nobody else is going to be real with them. Uh, when you have the stories like this, who else gonna speak up for those black children? Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African diaspora news channel app in the Google play and Apple app store.